I T A M Y R dot com. Or call us today to place your order at 1 888 558 8482. That's 1 888 558 8482. Keep your teeth and gums healthy with Vitamur toothpaste and mouthwash. Vitamur, nature's answer to healthy teeth and gums. And remember, it's all completely natural. Available at participating health food stores nationwide. Serving the planet, the micro effect. www.themicroeffect.com Welcome and good evening, everybody. And tonight is Friday. We've made it through another week as we are finishing our one year of broadcasting here on the Micro Effect Broadcasting Network. And I want to thank the McNeil family for all they've done for me and uh, Paul. And uh, I just want to thank you. You've been uh, very kind. You're uh, generous people. And uh, I, w- uh, I hope we can continue this uh, broadcasting for as long as time allows. Now, tonight is August 3rd, 2012, and uh, we have a wonderful show. This uh, individual has been with us on this broadcast before. She has been actually on Paul's Tuesday night broadcast. Her name is Ms. Solaris Blue Raven. Now, she has a professional background in surveillance. She is a certified black belt instructor and a systems buster for MK Ultra related projects. Uh, Ms. Blue Raven published uh, works include the uh, transmutation through ascension, eyes of the remote black ops in area, excuse me, black ops in area beyond 52, uh, Miss Sun and Halloween Ball, uh, Goddess Ascending, uh, which is a monthly newsletter penetrating or excuse me, pertaining to the planetary shifts and changes. Now, Ms. Blue Raven's new book is going live uh, at the end of this year, by the way. Um, This book is a series of uh, two eyes of the remote, Black Operations in Area 50, or excuse me, (laughs) Operations in Areas Beyond 52. I want to say, Slayers, I want to say Area 51. (laughs) And I am so sorry about that. And uh, her book, a sequel, is called Programmed by Deception, Eyes of the Remote, series number two. Now, Solaris has a new documentary available on a DVD called Eyes of the Remote, a disclosure of covert technology. Uh, she is the present founder of Night Shadow Anomaly Detectives. Uh, Solaris, I'm sorry about that, but welcome to the program. It is an absolute pleasure to have you back on. And before that... I want to say that, of course, your Tuesday night host is with us as well, Paul Landers. Paul, are you there, my friend? Uh, good evening, everyone. Yeah, and good evening. And pleasure to be there and with you all. Well, and, it's, and you did fine. You did fine, actually. <laughs> and it, it is eye of the remote. Okay. That would be great. Okay. And my, and my apologies again. And I, oh, again, no I want to thank you for being on the broadcast. Thank you. And, uh, you know... The things are getting crazier here by the moment, Solaris. Uh, all the artists, all the articles I've been reading, as far as everything is concerned, about false flag operations taking place in the Olympics, um, the craziness being spouted by uh, Benjamin Fulford and uh, uh, David Wilcox is, is beyond belief. <laughs> Uh, with this guy named Drake, I, it just—it's it, it, coming from all sides, and you know, I'm looking at all this, and you have to discern through all this information how much of this stuff, Solaris, is is uh, you know, false flag in itself by articles that are being printed. Whether they know they're being duped or not is another question at hand. But it seems like everything is building, or we're coming to a culmination, you know, uh, 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 the, to the eye of the needle, so to speak. Um, we can see everything around us, at least I can, um, building to a point. I can feel it in my gut. People who aren't even awake 
uh, realize what's happening. Do you see this as well, and do you believe this is happening at this point right now? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. It's, it's a madness, I swear. But there's so much disinformation going on right now, and you're right about the false flags. Um, I think a lot of these guys, maybe their intention isn't really to try to deceive people, but they're just misinformed, and they're running with this frenzy of wanting to know, but they're actually really not doing a check on themselves. They're not taking a step back to look at the data. You know, with my research, I'm very analytical, and I have to, even if I'm very spiritual and I bring in a lot of energy, I have to remove myself from the process and look at it from a very high level of consciousness. But you break it down, and you become very analytical with it. But it's very obvious that there's a real abuse of technology that's floating around the airwaves. It's it's obvious our system's breaking down, the deception's going on, and false flags are everywhere, and we're being lied to. And I think that's the most disturbing thing of all is that we as a, a society in this country are being lied to blatantly. It's, it's horrible. I agree. Solaris, because you were on the inside of all this, and you actually still are to some degree, what, what, what do you think or what is your personal viewpoint on where the biggest lies are coming from and who are creating them and for what reasons? Well, I would call it the handlers that are running our country right now, which would be the corporations. Um, this country is not, a, is not a country. It's a corporation. As we all know, it's run by corporations. It's run by people with a lot of money in black market technology to make the calls, and, and they're doing that. So basically, our government has a handler, and the handler is really making and calling all the shots, just like the puppet master would. So that's what we're dealing with right now. I, I think we talked a little bit about covert intelligence. Uh, we have a lot of people in the intelligence area that really are, are not – really coming up and, and doing their job, I'll be quite honest. I mean, we have covert technology. We have people in the underground that can that can come forward, and we're working on trying to get them to do that. But at the same time, you've got these other people who have been in these positions for I don't know how many years in this country and have just been so used to lying that they think it's okay to continue the process. It's not. It's not okay. Do you, do you, do you believe that because they've lied for so long that they just absolutely, absolutely accept it as truth at this point? Absolutely. There's no place for them to run right now. I mean, you know, you talk to any compulsive liar, they're so used to that program of, of deception that they don't even know when they're doing it half the time. And, and that's what my book, you know, Programs by this Deception is about. It's the series to either remote. And I talk a lot about how people have been lied to for centuries and that it's embedded in their cells to some degree. I mean, you really have to uncode and unravel everything and reprocess the whole cycle. And it takes a lot of work. And I mean, I don't, I don't know if a lot of people are really willing to do that right now, but we have to. I mean, if, we, if you want to survive as a race, um, they're going to have to let go and reprocess and, and reboot um, to a higher level of their design. Well, Slayer, she brought up a very good point. You know, survive as a race. And, and I'm assuming when you say re re survive as a race, you mean re survive as a species of a human species. Correct. What, what, what we're facing right now is basically the ultimate challenge in survival. Um, you know, we, we're looking at multiple cataclysmic events financially and physically on the planet. Um, when you look at this at, in the overall picture on a wide scope and a wide spectrum, what do you, how do you see this thing unfolding and who do you think will survive this? Well, in my opinion, which isn't really an opinion, it's a knowing, but um, insofar as that goes, it would be the people who are prepared on a higher level of their own consciousness and divinity, um, spiritually prepared. Um, that takes on many forms, but, but the people who have done the work, who have done the homework, who are um, beyond the illusions, who can see through the false flags and the deception, and know how to be in the right place at the right time during the transition. Um, we are going to go through some rocky roads. I mean, we've, we've discussed this before in the past, that we have some problems up ahead. Of, I mean, earth changes, uh, big changes coming along the planet right now. Not only is the Earth ascending, but, but there's a real anomaly happening with the Earth and with her electromagnetic fields. And then we have man-made propulsion systems and all sorts of other technology in the misuse of that's also adding to the problem. So, so we're running into a lot of different levels of, of disturbance right now. But for me, I see um, those who have done the spiritual work, to be honest with you, these, these so-called elites, which I don't like to call them elites because to me they're just people with a lot of money and a bad right. attitude. Right. Um, I don't see them making it. I'm sorry, I don't. I wish they could look at themselves and, and take a step out of their behavior and watch what they've been doing all these years and all these centuries and see exactly what they've done because they would be so embarrassed if they would just take a look. And you know that's not going to happen. Only when they so-called, you know, when they leave, they die, they'll well, look well, back. Well, Solaris, that, you know, it's, it's, I, and I see, I understand what you're saying, but these people are so filled with greed and mm -hmm. um, 
just wanting to be in control of so many things, they can't step outside themselves and look at how ridiculous they truly are. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, yes, we you know we use the words elite, Illuminati, um, the powers that be, globalists. We can use any words we choose at this point. But there's you know a lot of these guys actually believe that you know they're going to be in the little hidey holes when everything falls apart. And the reality is that it, that's just not going to happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good luck with that. You know, they can go underground and they have the money to go off world. Um, but you know what? If they haven't done the spiritual work and they're not ready in consciousness to accept what's out there, and I know they're not, um, they won't make it. They will not make it because they're going to carry the same behavioral patterns with them. They're taking their problem with them, which is them. That's that's the whole thing, you know. Um, the problem is them. They need to rectify their own personalities and their behavior. And, and you are right. I mean, you're dealing with a lot of people. I would say they're evil entities. I don't even know if they have any type of soul essence or spiritual design. Um, you're dealing with people who don't care, who have no conscience. And you could say a lot of that's due to their programming, perhaps, you know, like an MK Ultra type programming. But at the same time, you know, I was victimized by an assault weapon, which was MK Ultra related, as everyone knows. I made it. I got through it, and I went beyond it in higher consciousness because I wasn't. I have morals. I have values. Um, I'm not a I'm not a bad person, you know. Right. So I went beyond all that. Even if they wanted me to do something evil, I was like my benchmark, my universal benchmark said no way. I'm not about to become what they want me to become, and, and they hate that when when you don't surrender into their illusions. But that's what you're dealing with. You're dealing with people who basically, you know, I always say cowards run in packs, and they right. do. And, and, and we're I dealing agree with cowards. You. I absolutely agree with you. We're dealing with cowards. I think, you know, I, I would say that, you know, when, when everybody coming into this, this realm, whatever physical realm you're coming into, but we're here on Earth, so we choose to come in here at this time, you know, that is the essence of light, which is the soul, conscious, spirit, mind. But the problem is, is that the manipulation processes they go through, they, they are so easily influenced either because they're very young souls Mm -hmm. Or simply because they they um, they don't have the ability to uh, understand that you know what they're doing is inherently evil, and they're simply going along with a programming thing. Hey, you know what? This this uh, this is perfectly natural. This is supposed to happen. And the last part of it is they know it's exactly wrong, but they're doing it anyway because they have that. That uh, that the, that greed factor that that wanting so much would probably revert back to this to the the number one thing that I said because they're so they're very young souls and they're very disillusioned by the whole system. Mm -hmm. And the one thing is, you know, you, you're very correct. Um, and I can tell you with ascension process and vibrational frequencies, and we all know this planet's vibration is speeding up. I mean, it's a given that people become more enlightened. And there's a there's a knowing. There's a there's a you know, you just know. You know to do the right thing. You know not to do the wrong Agreed. thing. I mean, you know, and these people don't have that mechanism. They don't even try. And a lot of it is the programming. It's programming from centuries, from, from their childhoods, um, maybe from a past life, conditioning. And a lot of it is also fear. They're afraid to turn against their masters. They're afraid to come forward. Um, they're being bullied into other things. Sorry if that phone's ringing. That's okay. Um, but anyways, I don't have to answer that. <laughs> but, um, you know, it's basically that's what's going on with this whole scenario, and, and I don't see a solution for them, really, unless they just take a step out of it, and we had discussed this. I don't see them doing that. Well, I think the solution, the solution is presenting itself through earth changes because there's absolutely nothing they can do about that. Yeah, okay, they, they, like you said, they might be able to go off world, but if they, they are still living that illusion, they will not be able to survive that. That's absolutely 100% correct. But mm -hmm. um, the... the the, th the thought goes here, because they've created all these, uh, you know, because they stole the technology, it's not like it was given to them. They Correct. basically stole it. And that's uh, a good point. We need to realize that. They have stolen technology. The, the technology that they think they're so cool with is something that is not theirs by lineage, not by celestial heritage. This is stuff that they've confiscated and have well, misused. Correct. They've confiscated it, misused it, and now they're using it for their own um, survival practices, I guess, or off-world practices, whatever, whatever, however we choose to look at this. Mm -hmm. The bottom line, I think you're absolutely right, that they, they, they will not be able to fend any better because they've been used to ever having everybody else serve them. When there's mm -hmm. no one else to serve them, they will not be able to function. True. Very true. Uh, yep. Yeah, well, right. Well, Solaris, look, I know there's a, I just there's so much to say, but <laughs> so we we have to take a really quick break. So look, everybody, stick with us. This is the Whole Agenda Radio Show. I'm your host, Robert Pino, your Tuesday night host, Paul Anderson, our very special guest once again, Solaris Blue Raven. We'll be right back after this commercial break.
If you missed Pat and Linda Gorman's 2012 Wake Up America Wealth Protection Conference, then now's your chance to own this incredible conference on 12 one-hour CDs. You'll receive 12 hours of audio from the most knowledgeable economic experts in the country who for years have been helping people protect and grow their wealth in these uncertain economic times. You'll hear speakers like Bob Chapman of The International Forecaster, St. Clair Knoll, talk show host of The Financial Review, Jim Lills, a 30-year veteran commodities broker, Dr. Janice Dorn, Ph.D., market philosopher, and many, many more. Now's your chance to listen at your convenience in the privacy of your home, the most powerful information you'll need to help protect you from this economic crisis and even grow your wealth. So call 480-820-5877 or 800-494-4149. Again, those numbers are 480-820-5877 or 800-494-4149. Order your copy of the 2012 Wake Up America Conference today and start protecting your wealth. Welcome back, everybody, to the Whole Agenda Radio Show. I'm your host, Robert Pepino. Your Tuesday night host, of course, is with me every Friday night, Paul Landers. And our very special guest tonight, uh, again, which uh, I just love talking to this woman. Her name is Miss Hilarious Blue Raven. And uh, she has her newest um, DVD that's out that is called um, Eye of the Remote a disclosure of covert technologies. And so, Larry, can we just touch on that for the next few minutes before we go into the next break so people understand exactly what you're talking about in your DVD? Sure. Um, Eye of the Remote is actually a spin-off of my book, Eye of the Remote, um, Black Operations and Aries Beyond 52. But it's also part of a, an interview that I did, a disclosure I did, um, pertaining to an incident that happened to me in 2004, um, and basically an induction that dealt with being inducted into a, a psychotronic covert technology project, which involved synthetic telepathy and MKUltra abusive tactical hardware. Um, and, of course, the, the members of, of a certain band were involved and, and their handler, um, my handler. So I pr pretty much disclose this information in my documentary. I cover the technology. I cover the implant analysis, which shows measurements of the technology itself. We can actually locate these mechanisms mechanisms inside my body with measurement. So we're dealing with something that we can actually, um, it's, it's tangible, it's, it's a good explanation for people who are very green to this insofar as what it's about, how they can be tagged um, remotely from a distance, how they can have voice to skull, which is actually what I had with synthetic telepathy with a live handler. What, so, what, uh, Solaris, what is uh, what's, uh, synthetic telepathy? Just real quick synopsis on that. Okay. Um, well, basically, they map your brain waves. Um, they map your electromagnetic field, your brain waves, and they interface it onto a communication system in, a, in an underground area where you're being communicated with a live agent in an interface of mock communications, which basically it's synthetic dialogue, but there's also a live handler involved. Um, it interfaces back onto your brain waves so that you're actually having um, a, a synthetic tele telepathic communication relationship. Um, so if that explains it to you or not. I, yeah, no, I, 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 okay, no, <laughs> but, I, I you know, understand. We're all telepathic to begin with, but what they do is they map the electromagnetic field and interface it on their communication system with a mock radio signal. Um, people need to understand that there are mock radio signals out there, um, and they use them very often on people who they want to manipulate, stalk, harass, if they want to induct you or recruit you for special, um, I don't say special forces, but areas where you will be um, surveillance-oriented, where you're hearing and listening. and you're the is, is, is that where the super soldiers come into this oh, part, yeah, part of that scenario? Yeah, absolutely. And it's funny because, uh, you know, I think briefly what I can touch on this, but, uh, when I went to the super soldier summit, I mean, you know, they asked me, well, are you a super soldier? And I said, well, I am now. I mean, <laughs> I'm not a super soldier. I wasn't in the military. But at the same time, I've been through so many of these programs, and I've decoded them to such an extent, I might as well have been in the military. And, and the thing is, they have targeted citizens, civilians who are very smart, very intelligent, um, people they would like to map brainwaves and see where they're at. And they're very interested in people who are clairvoyant. So um, just to kind of give you a heads up on that. So well, and obviously they targeted you because you're highly intelligent. From It's more than obvious, just from what you're saying, uh, oh, yep. you, you know, most people can't speak like this. I certainly can't, couldn't speak the way you speak in regards to exactly uh, breaking down the whole system of events, how they took place in your life, and uh, how, how you've understood it and are able to counteract it. So it's quite amazing. 
Thank you. you know, I really appreciate you saying that because I want to um, also just make a quick point. When I was being inducted with the Psychotronic Dialogue, I mean, it was very, very hard for me to keep my wits about me. It was very, very hard for them not to dominate the conversation with synthetic telepathy. And every time I'd create, uh, try to create a sentence, they would try to um, dumb me down. So I really appreciate you not acknowledging my brain and my mind because they really wanted me stupid. And I was determined to say to hell with them, and I, I'm really grateful. And it was by the grace of a higher force, obviously, that I made it through this. But um, thank you for acknowledging that. It really means a lot. No, I know, absolutely. It's it, but but it's the truth. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I when when you listen to an intelligent person speak, you you recognize it right away. It's, yeah, it's fairly you. simple. I was reading when I was four. <laughs> <laughs> but 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 that but that's that's my point. And yeah. uh, you know, a lot, you know a lot, I can imagine a lot of people go, okay, yeah, this this lady's off a rocker or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, they have to do the research and be involved in it in order to truly understand it. But if, even if you do the research, if you start looking into this, it, it will lead you such down such a deep dark hole that mm -hmm. it, you you try and make trying to make heads or tails of this uh, would be mind boggling at best. Yet you you've had the ability and capability to basically weed yourself out through um, all the mind control aspect of it to to really ground yourself and say, okay, I know who I am, and no matter what they do, I will not allow them to manipulate me in a certain way that I'm going to cause uh, more damage uh, to, to other people or to the planet. Mm -hmm. Very true. Yeah. And their whole design is to really um, get you to do what they want you to do. I mean, destroy your life, ruin your career, and if you um, speak up against them, it's basically discredit you. Um, you know, they, Mossbach went out of his way to discredit me in the courtroom, not only in the courtroom, um, but, you know, I had their, their fans and blog attacks and this and that. And, you know, I can understand people don't understand the technology, but you're right. They have to do the research. They have to be open-minded to it. And I'll tell you what, we have proof that there is um, synthetic telepathy. Our government and our military has been contracted with synthetic telepathy. So this is a valid... Um, technology. It's, it's just one covert. step. It's one step above remote viewing, is the way Correct. I see it. Correct. And the bottom line is, it's going to go mainstream soon enough. And I mean, at the rate we're going with the manipulation and, and how society is being manipulated so easily. And I think we had discussed this before. I'm certain that these guys are going to um, deploy this as a mass, probably some sort of an application where they can have synthetic telepathy. I mean, they're going to they're going to try to to get the masses involved in it on some level of a game, and then eventually interface it onto them permanently. And I'll tell you what, it may sound real fun. Um, but it's not fun when you're when you're getting harassed nonstop. It's not fun when they're remotely manipulating and hurting Agreed. you. Agreed. And when they um, they do force you into suicide, that's another thing we were talking about. I, I've known people who have been forced into suicide due to the duress of the dialogue, which is synthetic covert technology. It is not a spirit. It is not a ghost. It is not a demon. Well, so. it, 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 right. And Solaris, I, I would like to say this, and I don't know how true this is, but maybe you can enlighten me on it. All these um, video games, these violent, violent video games that they, they, they keep producing basically on almost a monthly basis now, um, is that part, semi-part of programming that they might use unwittingly that these game makers, um, whether they're part of a system or not, which I, for the most part, I believe they probably aren't, but they're u being used and manipulated in that sense to, to um, basically uh, sh uh, shut their emotions off when it comes mm -hmm. to violence. Very true. They're being desensitized to violence, and they do that through mainstream television as well. But it's true. Everything is a reality show. Everything is, is, you know, they don't show compassion for their fellow man, and that's that's the way they think they're supposed to be. Or if they do show compassion, it's a game, it's an illusion, it's an act, it's not sincere. Um, so you're dealing with a lot of that. But you're right. With the video games these days, they're very high tech. Um, they're they're almost like a virtual reality games where you can get lost in them. And a lot of kids who are of sensitive psyches could easily get mind mapped, programmed. Um, and also, they use their brainwave activity to interface it on the communication system. Another thing I want to make clear is that they can use this technology. Um, if they're at their computer playing a video game, they can, they can actually, covert areas can actually access you while you're on the screen, map your eyes, map everything on you, right. and interface it, and keep that um, activity so they can later use it against you or, or assess you in some way. Well, you're absolutely right, because I know that they have the technology and the ability with every t uh, television uh, all the newest televisions anyway for the last 10 years, they have the ability to uh, hear your conversations and actually at, at one point actually uh, see what you're doing, what, what you're doing, what your family's doing, even without the TV being on.
Yep, Big Brother. And they can do that with your cell phone, too, you know. I, right. I think you wear, yeah, you're aware of that. But anybody can access remotely. They can do a lot remotely, too, that, that most people wouldn't realize. And that includes the remote tactical hardware they use to tag the electromagnetic field. And the induction that I went through was done remotely, just to give you an idea of, of the severity of the way these guys work. Um, you know, there wasn't a physical person there at, at first saying, oh, let's, let's do this, let's wire you up. I didn't have to be wired up. I was inside my house, and this happened to me. So, it, 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 what, I mean, when you first acknowledged this, I, or did you even acknowledge it that you know, there was something s strange going on, and uh, and you're like, okay, what what is this? I mean, how how did you react to it when it first happened? Oh, I was um I was very aware. I was very lucid and very aware of what was happening. And actually, when they first showed up, that was live feed. They were communicating their identities. They were very um very live, very open, and, and uh, they would tell me, one of them said, um, I, what do you say, I have you in a hard area, I have you buried underground, and then he said, oh, well, I'm the angel of death, and I said, oh, really, so am I, and I started giving him a hard time back, because I knew it was a man-made transmission, and I think that's what sparked the, um, I don't want to say a war game, but it kind of sparked this kind of, um, this thing that went back and forth. A psychic because war game. Yeah, because I wasn't about to, to be allowed to be completely dominated by these people. You know, I was willing to understand what they were, but at the same time I realized that their project and what they were attempting to do was manipulative, and it was really designed more to just harass me than, than anything else. Well, With little respect to my mind. Right, yeah, well, and that's the unfortunate part. And there you go again. It's basically, and I hate to say this, but it's a raping of the mind. Absolutely. Uh, it, might, it, not, might, it might not be physical, but they're doing it to your mind, which probably is even worse, I would say. Mm -hmm. It is because they, they fill you up with false programs, false memories, false videos. It's a lot like Blade Runner. I mean, you deal with things that don't belong to you. They take psychological, psychology games and try to load you up with all sorts of things that don't even apply to your past or even a future because they're trying to create an alternate reality for you. And, and that's where we talked about the alters a little bit and different splits and personalities. I mean, I was really stable because I did keep my affirmations going and I did stay higher on a higher ground and higher consciousness. And I think that's what kept me going. Well, so I'm sorry, Shelley, I didn't mean no, to cut you no, off. No, you didn't. You're fine. <laughs> okay. Uh, what about other people that you know who have been in this who have been have basically don't, don't, don't have the stamina or the ability or the will that you have? Uh, have you met some of them? And um, what has, to this point, what are, where are their lives or, you know, how, how destroyed are they at this point? Um, I can only tell you, you know, the super soldiers are very unique beings. All of them are very unique, and they have different situations. I can't say that any of their experiences, par they parallel mine, but they're not the same program at all. I mean, I can tell you that. I don't think it's the same program. Okay. Um, but for the people that I know that have been closely connected, and so far as um, a few people that I try to counsel, they're not alive anymore. Um, one guy I tried to help, I really, really tried to help this person, and he committed suicide, and it was a forced suicide. This guy was being harassed nonstop with psychotronic warfare, with visuals, remote manipulation, um, um, he just couldn't take the voices anymore. He couldn't take it. He would medicate himself. He would check himself in. And, and you know, the thing is they want you to admit that you're crazy. They want you to be medicated. They want to be able to control you, and they want to discredit you. And if you don't fall into that category, they'll force you into a suicide. Um, it was really interesting because I had talked to this guy a week before he checked himself out. And he told me, and I said, you know, you just have to fight it. And I was trying to, you know, counsel him a little bit. But the funny thing is about two days before he died, I was attacked severely remotely, and I almost, I was, I, something tried to hurt me, okay? And that happened two days before he was killed by this right. remote program. So, you know, I always piece them together, but I know how the hardware works. I know what it feels like, and I think people need to be aware that sometimes suicides, especially if they're military personnel and also they're having these high rates of suicide, you better take a good look at what the psychotronic programs are teaching these guys and what they're embedded with, because I guarantee you that's a problem. Okay, uh, we're going to stop right there. We're going to take a break. This is Paul Lance, the Whole Gender Radio Show, with regular host Robert Pepino and guest uh, Solaris uh, Blue Raven. We'll be right back. Linda Gorman, owners of Resource Consultants, Inc. and Buy Silver Now website, have been selling gold and silver and precious metal-related assets since 1996. They have built their reputation on their most valued assets, integrity and honesty. While other precious metal dealers are just out to make a quick buck, Pat and Linda have prided themselves on the relationship they have developed with their customers. In other words, they have met their clients' expectations and much, much more. And that's why their business continues to grow as this economic crisis 
this deepens. If there were ever a time to spare your family from this monetary decline, now's the time to do it. So, save your family's wealth and go to www.buysilvernow.com and call 480-820-5877 or 800-494-4149. Again, those numbers are 480-820-5877 or 800-494-4149. And protect, save, and grow your wealth in these hard economic times. What makes America the greatest country in the world? Well, our Constitution is a masterpiece. James Madison was a genius. The Declaration of Independence is, for me, the single greatest piece of American writing. What about the people? Why is America not the greatest the great country in the world, Professor? That's my answer. The NEA is a loser. Yeah, it accounts for a penny out of our paycheck, but he gets to hit you with it any time he wants. It doesn't cost money. It costs votes. It costs airtime, column inches. You know why people don't like liberals? Because they lose. If liberals are so smart, how come they lose always? Hey, and with a straight face, you're going to tell students that America is so star-spangled awesome that we're the only ones in the world who have freedom? Canada has freedom. Japan has freedom. The UK, France, Italy, Germany, Spain, Australia, Belgium has freedom. So 207 sovereign states in the world, like 180 of them have freedom. All right. And yet you, a uh, sorority girl, just in case you accidentally wander into a voting booth one day, there's some things you should know. One of them is... There is absolutely no evidence to support the statement that we're the greatest country in the world. We're 7th in literacy, 27th in math, 22nd in science, 49th in life expectancy, 178th in infant mortality, 3rd in median household income, number 4 in labor force, and number 4 in exports. We lead the world in only three categories. Number of incarcerated citizens per capita, number of adults who believe angels are real, and defense spending, where we spend more than the next 26 countries combined, 25 of whom are allies. Now, none of this is the fault of a 20-year-old college student, but you nonetheless are, without a doubt, a member of the worst period, generation period ever, period. So when you ask what makes us the greatest country in the world, I don't know what you're talking about. Sure used to be. We stood up for what was right. We fought for moral reasons. We passed laws struck down laws for moral reasons we waged wars on poverty not poor people we sacrificed we cared about our neighbors we put our money where our mouths were and we never beat our chest we built great big things made ungodly technological advances explored the universe cured diseases and we cultivated the world's greatest artists and the world's greatest economy we reached for the stars acted like men we aspired to intelligence we didn't belittle it it didn't make us feel inferior we didn't identify ourselves by who we voted for in the last election, and we didn't, we didn't scare so easy. <clears throat> we were able to be all these things and do all these things because we were informed by great men, men who were revered. First step in solving any problem is recognizing there is one. America is not the greatest country in the world anymore. <laughs> Serving the planet, the micro effect. www.themicroeffect.com. Good evening, everyone. Welcome back. This is Paul Landers, the whole agenda radio show, broadcasting to you live on the Micro Effect Network. It's August 3rd, 2012. Um, we have tonight uh, Robert Papino, who's your regular host on the whole agenda. And our very special guest tonight is Miss Slaris Blue Raven, professional background in surveillance, a uh, systems buster for MK Ultra related projects, which is very important with what we're discussing. We're actually just laying a foundation for what we're going into later on tonight. She also has her, her DVD out that people should check out, um, I, have, um, I Have the Remote. And is everybody, hello, everybody. Hello, Paul. <laughs> hello. We had just left off, uh, Solaris, you talked about how um, with these inductions, and over course of time, it becomes hard for a lot of people to take. They People just, you know, 
and I'm not patronizing you, a lot of these people just aren't as strong as you were, and they weren't able to cope, and suicide rings in the head quite frequently as it did in yours. Some of them didn't make it, and you were discussing about the friend of yours that didn't make it. If you could go ahead, right. please. Yeah, it's, it's very sad when that happens, and, and the worst part of it is that, um, you know, we know this technology is real. We know it exists, and, and even if you try to expose it, um, this poor guy, he just, you know, he tried so hard to get the word out, and, of course, um, you know, it just, it just basically ate him up inside. But he's just the tip of the iceberg insofar as people dying due to the duress of these assaults. And, this, you know, it's a non, it is not a non-lethal weapon. It is a lethal weapon. Um, they can call it a non-lethal weapon, but it's lethal. It destroys. It can be used uh, to heal somebody, yes, if they choose to, but it can also be used to destroy. And from what I've seen, this is, this is, a, this is a program of warfare. It's a recruiter type of technology. Um, it is a threat assessment technology. It will, um, you know, it's really interesting, and we can discuss it later on, but the threat assessment I think we talked about with that one uh, shooting incident in Aurora not too long ago, uh, apparently his psychologist was into threat assessment. Well, I can tell you a whole scenario about that because a lot of people who are into threat assessment are actually connected into psychotronic warfare and have government contracts. So that's, that's a real rabbit hole right there and a real red flag. Right. So, so people want to know. Well, so well, Larry, we like, I'm sorry, Paul, go ahead. I just said we like rabbit holes. Go ahead. Yeah. Oh, and I love rabbit holes, too, because I was going to say, Solaris, you know, they say non-lethal systems. Well, guess what? Flat, flashbang grenades have killed people. Rubber bullets have killed people as well. Mm -hmm. These are solid, real things that people can see right now, and they've killed people. They say, well, they're non-lethal. Mm -hmm, absolutely. And, you know, the brain is such a beautiful design. I mean, the mind, the consciousness, the electromagnetic field, it's, a, it's an incredible piece of work, um, very mathematical design, holographic. It's, it's phenomenal what the mind can do when we use it, all of it. Only and, 10%, you know, by the way. Yeah, I mean, when, <laughs> when you, and you keep growing and evolving, and, and right. with the DNA activation, you actually start learning more and more, and you start using more of your mind and your brain. But what's interesting to me is, is you know, if... If it were me and I was involved in this technology in their rooms, I wouldn't be misusing it to harm people. I wouldn't at all. I'd be using it for educational purposes. But like I said, you can, you can use things as a weapon or you can use them for a positive. These guys choose the dark path. They choose the path of manipulation, control, harming, harassing, humiliating. Um, it's not good enough. And what's interesting to me is it's not good enough for these guys for someone to suffer. They, they real, they just, they don't, it's like they get off on it or something. I, I don't really look, understand. We've all it. seen the videos of uh, the soldiers throwing puppies off cliffs right. in, in, in <laughs> Iraq, right? Mm -hmm. We've all seen lunatics uh, dismembering uh, uh, animals, and of course the real animals, the one, the the, the really sick ones who uh, dismember people. At least, mm -hmm. thank God, they are in jail. But the reality is that that exists. This is very mm -hmm. true, and it happens, and this happens all the time. But people yeah. don't want to acknowledge it. Solaris, they want to keep their head buried in the sand, just mm -hmm. like about everything else, about the economy, about the earth changes, about all, and they want to keep their heads in the sand. And they're going to say, "Well, not in my lifetime." It's not going to happen to me. Guess what? It's it happening. Yeah, that's the problem. Everybody wants to live in their fuzzy little bubbles. And believe me, I understand. I'm very zen deep down. I'm a martial artist. I love to meditate. I used to anyway. I mean, I'm very peaceful deep down. I don't care for this drama. I can't stand it. But honestly, after I was inducted into it, I had to come forward. I had to disclose it because it's so wrong. And you're right. These are so many evil people in the world who do cruel things. And you wonder what's wrong with these people. But, you know, the psychotronic program will drive people to do that. Um, and, and a lot of it's just bad genetics. But I'll tell you what. I mean, we need to get a handle on this before it gets out of control. And when you have mainstream media that's going out of their way to cover up something that's a psychotronic um, designed, uh, you know, program that affected somebody in, well, we can talk about this in a little bit, but you know what I'm talking about. I mean, it's just ridiculous. After a while, it's just, you know, you just have to turn the televisions off and, and do the research. Absolutely. You're absolutely right, Solaris. And just do the research. I said uh, this is what I keep telling people every night, my dear. I say do the research. They, you know, that, that when I start telling them just the common Joe on the street, and I start saying, hey, by the way, you know, have, have you seen all the flooding that's happened, unprecedented weather that's taken place from the the, the extreme droughts, the extreme cold, to the extreme flooding, uh, the massive earthquakes, sinkholes fractures that over on the planet, they look at me like I got a third eye in my head because it doesn't affect them in their little bubble life. Well guess what? Guess what? Now it's affecting everybody and they're mm -hmm. gonna have they have no other opportunity but to face the truth. And this is the thing. Right. I change is an inevitable part of the cosmos. We mm -hmm. have to deal with that. Period. Right. So if you don't deal with it now, that means if you are you, are you you know you do not continue on this planet because of the 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 uh, the, the changes that are taking place 
economically or, mm -hmm. or, or, or physically on the planet, guess what? You get to come back and do it all again. You know why? Because you never learned your lesson. You never yep. learned it. You're true, and I have to tell you something, and it's kind of a giveaway in my book, but um, a lot of that reincarnation, that wheel, of that cycle's been broken. So people are not going to have an opportunity to reincarnate on this earth after the ascension process, and that's something that they need to understand, that that's it. Game's so over. So that means they're going to have to do it somewhere they, else. They, it, well, even, the thing is, it's been if worse than ascended, this. Yes, and the thing is, if they have not ascended, if they haven't made it, they're not going to make it off-world insofar as ascending onto another planet to incarnate. Those of us who are celestial-oriented, those who have done the work, will All make right, it. All right, hold on. i got to... Thank you. Uh, that's the truth. Thank I have to you. tell you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You said it. I wasn't going to say it, but you said it. Good. No, that that it's absolutely right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so game is over for them. So, um, you know, I always say don't let the universe hit you on the ass the way out because that's what's going to happen to them. And, um, you know, you just break orbit with negative cycles. And, and the thing is we can't run away from them because they're chasing us down. They're hunting us. And um, that's the problem. You know, you know what? I can't walk Solaris, you know what I say? A lot of times, Paul's heard me say, I said, come, on, come knock on my door. I'm right here. Mm -hmm. I, come knock on my door. I'm right here. Exactly. You know, and the thing is, it's true. The no fear thing is really where it's at because they can't hurt me. I'm not afraid of anything. I'm really not. I could care less. I mean, I'm very fortified in higher consciousness to a point where, you know, fear is an illusion. It's a word. Thank and, you. And that, you know, the mass collective, for the most part, many of them are controlled by fear. Um, fear of exposure, of, of coming up you know, coming forward and, you know, looking, being looked at differently or whatever. I mean, they're controlled and manipulated by the, by this crazy mob. Well, the Zionists, and, yeah. it, you know, it, it, it need, and I hate to say it, but it's true. The, the, these people are Zionists. Yeah. And I'm not talking about Zionist Jews when I say this, everybody. I'm talking about the Zionist all-seeing eye who everybody is participating in this, uh, systemic, tyrannical system that they want to bring into view. The Zionists look, look, they're looking at this as um, uh, the system of the uh, of the ancient Egyptian sun gods. Okay, they see themselves as the sun, illuminated ones. You understand mm -hmm. that? Okay, of they're not. <laughs> they're not. They're not. Okay, so I just wanted to clarify that, but go ahead, Solaris. That's true, and, and another thing, um, you know, I call that bullying. You know, basically they're bullying people into their way of thinking and behaving, and if you don't subscribe to their illusions, they will find a way to hurt you. Sure they And that's what, that's, it's called bullying, you know, end of story. And, and a quick thing I want to mention about the Illuminati, I think you're, you might be familiar with this, but there was, uh, the original Illuminati um, was not an evil organization. Correct. Uh, there, there's Correct. been a spin-off. So you're people right. Know. And, and the sun and higher consciousness and the solar logos through the sun, there's, there are celestial energies that very angelic through that, so it's not um, what people think it is. So I wanted to clear that up a little bit because a lot of people are misperceiving that just because it's Illuminati, it's completely it's Solaris, it's it's Illuminati it, it's not. Solaris is the same thing with the Nazi symbol because yeah, Hitler incorporated it. Everybody projects it as an evil symbol. Actually, it's exactly. a sign of peace, wisdom, and love, mm -hmm. but people don't realize that. Exactly. Well, then that's part of that brainwashing and conditioning right. as well. Yeah, you're right on. Paul, do you want to throw anything in? I've been kind of hogging the whole uh, show. I'm sorry, my friend. I wasn't about to interrupt. Uh, you all had such a nice flow going. Um, the one thing I did want to ask Solaris, though, is her take on the Colorado shooting. Right, yeah. As soon as I saw that, I, I just discussed this earlier, you know, it smelled bad to me. And I was very clear after being inducted into assault, communi you know, communication systems and, and covert technology and MKL's related programs, this guy was programmed without a doubt. And anybody who's in denial of that is, is just crazy. Um, this kid is a Manchurian candidate. He was programmed. Um, you know, he didn't even have let any recall. Of what was, oh, I'm okay, sorry. Go ahead. I was going to stop you right there for a second. Okay. And I was going to ask Robert. Robert? Yeah. Uh, you're very knowledgeable right now on who his father was. Why don't well, you tell well, us who his well, father is? J his fa James Holmes uh, was Mr. Holmes, which was, or excuse me, not was, he's still alive, is the algorithmic um, computer expert. And I, I actually knew this about, uh, uh, about it, but uh, our friend Gordon James Giannato, which has been on this program many times, Solaris, I, I'm not sure if you know who he is, mm -hmm. um, but he brought this article forward, he, and he presented it to me, that he was about to re really ready to blow the whistle 
um, on the fact of how his algorithmic program determined, and it, this is a very, very sophisticated program, determined that there basically is 147 companies that are, all, that are all interrelated and connected, and basically it goes back to a system of all the same owners of these of these multinational corporations who are basically own and operate 80% of our planet's wealth. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no coincidence there. And I also understand he had connections to DARPA as well. Yes. So he, there's a connection he, there. He actually, uh, yes, he did, he did work for DARPA. And he go. is, to the best of my knowledge, he is still, imp uh, he is right up at the top of uh, the FICA scores. Mm -hmm. Well, listen, folks, hold it right there because we've got to take a quick break or the, 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 uh, the microfacial scream in us. So, <laughs> look, uh, everybody <laughs> stick with us. This is the Whole Agenda Radio Show. I'm your host, Robert Pino, my Tuesday night host, Paul Landers, and our very special guest, Solaris Blue Ray. We'll be right back after this break. Pat and Linda Gorman's 2012 Wake Up America Wealth Protection Conference, then now's your chance to own this incredible conference on 12 one-hour CDs. You'll receive 12 hours of audio from the most knowledgeable economic experts in the country who for years have been helping people protect and grow their wealth in these uncertain economic times. You'll hear speakers like Bob Chapman of The International Forecaster, St. Clair Knoll, talk show host of The Financial Review, Jim Lills, a 30-year veteran commodities broker, Dr. Janice Dorn, Ph.D., market philosopher, and many, many more. Now's your chance to listen at your convenience in the privacy of your home, the most powerful information you'll need to help protect you from this economic crisis and even grow your wealth. So call 480-820-5877 or 800-494-4149. Again, those numbers are 480-820-5877 or 800-494-4149. Order your copy of the 2012 Wake Up America Conference today and start protecting your wealth. Welcome back, everybody, to the Whole Agenda Radio Show, and this is the last segment of the broadcast. Uh, Paul and I have been your hosts, and we have our uh, wonderful guest, Solaris Blue Raven, who I recommend you go out and get her DVD, um, which is called Eye of the Remote, Disclosure of Covert Technology. It's uh, really incredible. It's eye-opening, and it is truly in-depth. Uh, she's done an incredible job on this, and uh, Solaris, the, the reality... Um, that most people don't understand really to sum things up is that on a daily basis we live our lives pretty much in in, in a um, how do I want to put this people live their lives in a bubble in other words if it doesn't affect them they, it, they don't need to know about it they don't care mm -hmm. and uh, that's why this has happened worldwide this is what's happened to the whole system worldwide that a, a small group of, of individuals basically have taken over the technology and the, uh, and, and the monetary system of the world now I believe that sleeping masses I hope are waking up. You know, I say 3% at best are waking up. I say that's a huge plus. 3% of 7 billion is quite a few because they're a very small, small group of people who are controlling the, the everything, mass media, the, the, you know, the, our money systems, mm -hmm. um, major corporation, multinational corporations. So as we start to wake up, and they are putting the pressure on us, and we are going through this m multiple series of events that they are pushing us through. I think we will be victorious in all this. I truly believe that. And I, I believe that in my heart of hearts, Solaris. But the, re the, the other side of it is that they have no control over the physical actions of, of, the, of the planet that, that, uh, that, that it's going through right now. So... 
when we when we when everything is finalized, when we come to the head of all this, seven billion people, you know, I've heard if seventy million survive, it'd be a miracle. I've you know the 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 sun god worshippers or the Illuminati, whatever the powers that be, uh, you have the Georgia Guidestones say five hundred million people uh, w are supposed to survive all this. The reality is that. I don't think any of them are going to survive, or, or I could be wrong that a, part, a, a portion of them will survive, and a portion of us will survive. But what is going to push our evolution into the next step? I know that we're going to a transitional awakening right now, mm -hmm. but if there's not enough people to push this forward into the next realm, okay, of wisdom, love, beauty, so on and so forth. Will we revert back to the same system that that is hap that has plagued humanity over and over and over like a broken record? Mm -hmm. I think so. I mean, you know, you're dealing with a, a, a false programming century after century of these people being conditioned into a false reality. So when they come to the final end of ends, they haven't learned their lessons. So so they expire and they become extinct. Um, and my impression is extinction is ahead. And that may sound cynical, it's not. Um, for those who are ascended on a higher level of consciousness, um, they'll keep ascending. And whether it's on this planet or another planet, they'll keep growing and evolving. But I see a very small portion getting through this. That's my own um, interpolation. And I'm very clear that the rate they're going and the way they're behaving, that they're dealing towards, they're looking at their own extinction, but they don't even know it. They're too stupid to see it. As you're chemtrailing us every day, you're absolutely oh, yeah, yeah. right. I mean, they don't care. I mean, they've, they've shown the universe what they're made of, what they're about. They have been out of touch with the universal sounding. They've been out of touch with the celestial races and any true ascended extraterrestrial race. If they were involved with these races, they wouldn't be doing what they're doing. I can guarantee it. So what they're doing is acting like a rogue uh, bunch of people on this planet, um, calling the shots, playing the gods, and really just falling out of touch with everything that's so sacred in all universes and star systems. But we had discussed this before, you know, it's their choice, they have free will. But what I don't want to see is them imposing on our free will, because we have free will, and we want to keep going and ascending and evolving. So, you know, if they want to behave that way, then they'll have to do it in their own little sector. And, you know, that's, that's what we're coming to terms with, our divisions here, coming with a division. Well... Yeah, you, you know, you, you bring up some very good points. It, it's it's hard to step out of that box when you're seeing everything that's happening because mm -hmm. the imposition that the governments and the fictitious money printers have created, look, we, uh, they, they've created the TSA at the airports where, uh, you, you know, you, you are manhandled or female handled, mm -hmm. however you want to look at it. Um, mm -hmm. So to in, impose, to 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 let you know that they're in charge of saying, hey, by the way, uh, I hope you remember Nazi Germany because this is the same tactics we used right. back then, by the way. And we're just doing it again, but you're so stupid that you don't realize it, so you're not standing standing up against it. I mean, right now the opposition mm -hmm. seems like that that they're in charge and they're leading at this point. But at one point, at one point of this, at the head, the, the, the very pinnacle, uh, mm -hmm. As the car explodes, basically, at the bottom of the pit, mm -hmm. uh, you, you feel that we will be victorious. Absolutely. It's critical mass. And you're dealing with so much negativity, so much evil, so much bad, bad karmic contracts that it's, it has no place to go. It can't ascend. It has to break down. It really can't. So you're dealing with the critical mass. I mean, and a vacuum comes to mind for these this type of behavior. So, we're not, so now we're not going to go through another cyclical cycle of manipulation and slavery that we've gone through for the last... I'm just going to say 3,000 years because that's what mainstream would like to tell you. I know it's millions of years. Mm -hmm. But if we continue to live that same diagnosis or prognosis. Right. Yeah, I mean, if mankind chooses that path, I mean, they're, they're obviously looking for that path to happen. And if the mainstream allows themselves to become manipulated like they are, then that's where they're heading. But what, I, what we were discussing is that the planet has other, other ideas, right. and they're not in touch with that. So um, there are things that are going to happen that are just going to, you know, force extinction on many levels, and I hope that they understand this, but I don't think that they're clear enough in their own minds and psyches to really, to really get it. But there is a bigger eye in the sky, and we both know that. Um, yeah. They want to play Big Brother. Well, guess what? Big Sister's watching, okay? And Big Sister's not the <laughs> um, Defense Department or, or Homeland right. Security, okay? And you're right. Okay? And you know what? So let's get the bigger picture. <laughs> no, you're right. My friend Bob Dean says this over and over and over again. He says, we are not in charge. We've never been in charge. They are in charge. 
Mm-hmm. And when they see fit, think, things will really transform. And I'm really waiting for that transformation because, you know, I, I, it's hilarious. I've had my own conversations here through channeling sessions with, you know, our ET brothers and sisters. And they said, hey, look, the bottom line is uh, w- when these things happen, we're going to be here to assist. You know what? We, ca- we can't do anything for you. You need to do it for yourself. But it's time to wake up, put away the matches, st- stop behaving like little children, and grow up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. That's very, very true. And we have the, the skills. I mean, we are part of that celestial race, and it's bringing in that energy and utilizing it accordingly. So, Absolutely. You know, and, but they're distracted right now. You know, that's why mainstream and everybody's all into reality shows, and they're lost, and, and they're, they're losing energy. They're losing power <laughs> How about by dis- doing that. disillusional shows, delusional absolutely. shows? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You know. yeah. <laughs> Everything's like backwards. You know, whatever it's they an upside-down planet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's messed up. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> At least we can laugh a little bit. Yeah, so. you know what? It's hilarious. I have to laugh because if I wasn't laughing, I'd be crying. I totally agree. <laughs> yeah, you have to have humor with this, this event. And we'll be okay in the long run. I mean, what we realize is that we as beings, as, as enlightened beings, will be fine. I agree. That's important. Absolutely. Paul? Mm-hmm. Uh, yes, I'm still here. Okay, I Y'all? wasn't sure. You just kind of... <laughs> well, you, you know, know what? what? It's... Y'all have had such a, it's such a, it was a nice flow. Look, I you love just, talking to Solarius. I love, you know, I love talking to you, too. Just don't want to interrupt, but I'm going to actually interrupt now because we've only got a minute left. And Solaris, uh, a final thought. You want to just give us a little bit about your website and DVD? Oh, yeah, Night Shadow Anomaly Detectives. Check it out. It's free. Um, you can become a member, and I have a lot of good information on there. Um, yeah, either remote or disclosure of covert technology. Um, is available so that's the dvd that's for sale and also my book um, programmed by deception believe it or not is going live right now it's in print right now so you can pre-order it on amazon and it should be available in the next two weeks fantastic great yeah great okay well this has been uh paul landers for the whole agenda radio show um your tuesday night host with regular host robert propino and our very very special guest and we love her so much and love having her on here she is oh it says well it's hilarious i love you guys too (laughs) <laughs> Without a she question. So interesting to talk to and so full of wonderful uh, and, and enlightening um, information. Absolutely. So thank you, everyone, and join Robert um, Monday night. And that's pretty much it. Everybody have a very, very uh, abundant and healthy and happy weekend. And be safe. Yep. Thank you, everybody. If you missed Pat and Linda Gorman's 2012 Wake Up America Wealth Protection Conference, then now's your chance to own this incredible conference on 12 one-hour CDs. You'll receive 12 hours of audio from the most knowledgeable economic experts in the country who for years have been helping people protect and grow their wealth in these uncertain economic times. You'll hear speakers like Bob Chapman of The International Forecaster, St. Clair Knoll, talk show host of The Financial Review, Jim Lills, a 30-year veteran commodities broker, Dr. Janice Dorn, Ph.D., market philosopher, and many, many more. Now's your chance to listen at your convenience in the privacy of your home, the most powerful information you'll need to help protect you from this economic crisis and even grow your wealth. So call 480-820-5877 or 800-494-4149. Again, those numbers are 480-820-5877 or call us at 928-308-0408. Here it is again, 928-308-0408. There's no waiting. Call now. It's your life. Give yourself something special. Good health. Life Change Tea at GetTheTea.com. Show, where we talk about government, music, art.
art, health, science, geology, religion, metaphysics, and all things spiritual. In short, we'll examine the truth. And when we find things that aren't right, we'll offer creative solutions. And now, the host of Evidence for Prince, Don Nicolau. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Evident Footprints on the microeffect.com. I'm your host, Don Nikoloff, and I will be with you for the next two hours on this July the 23rd on the west coast of the United States, now July the 24th on the east coast, and in the central time zone, uh, crossing the Atlantic Ocean, also in the same time zone. We have uh, western, central, and Eastern Europe, of course, the former Soviet Union, calling itself, and all of its satellite states. We also have uh, Japan, the Philippines, the entire continent of Asia, uh, moving down.